We all know that it's good to have a second source for as many components as possible in a design. If one supplier stops making a part, then the second source can be used. But there are some points to note. The main one is that there can be some differences between components from different manufacturers. Maybe the output capability might be slightly different or a capacitance level associated with an input might be different. But very occasionally the differences can be bigger. A friend of mine was repairing an amateur radio transceiver and needed to replace one of the transistors, an MRF-237. The original wasn't available, but a second source was. Unfortunately, the replacement didn't appear to work and it was only on looking at the data sheet that it was discovered that the pinout was different between the devices from different manufacturers, even though they had the very same part number. This doesn't happen very often, but it's a word of warning to check the data sheets thoroughly to make sure that second sources of components really are compatible.